Uh, market over the last couple of weeks has been basically throughout all of August has been trading in a tight range in the S&P with no real movement, sort of flatlining off the top of the market. Uh, and then what we saw happen today, you know, everyone has been anticipating the uh, Jackson Hole Conference, Bernanke statements, uh, and uh, anticipation of probably a, a, a possibly uh, Q, QE3. And um, what happened today was uh, there's been the economic news. This morning, jobless claims were sort of flat, but the retail sales, which is a big, big sector, uh, has been coming in very positive. Some earnings have been positive. And this is good economic news for the United States. So things have been really pointing away from all the necessary parts of the formula for them to be very confident that there will be a QE3. So in anticipation of a better economy in the United States and less chance of a QE3, today we saw a sizable sell-off. It was aggressive. It was the first one we've seen for a while. Market closed to right off the lows here. Um, and, uh, and I think that's what happened. You know, I think you saw profit taking. I think you saw the beginning of momentum on the downside in anticipation that there may not be a QE3. Right now, there is no reason. All the cards are not pointing in that direction of a must for QE3. Our economy is acting fairly healthy, so it's not it's not the front of the table right now. But why so, isn't that the most important for traders, that the economy is in good shape, sort of? Well, it should be, but we are always, you know, on a daily basis, this marketplace is being run by news headlines, as it's been for the last six months. One day Europe is good, one day Europe is bad. We respond aggressively either way. There's very light volume throughout August. So the people, the big pocketed players in the market can move the market with momentum in either direction because there's very little liquidity in the marketplace, in the futures and in stocks. So if a guy with a big pocket wants to move the market, he can. So when you have light volume, people are waiting around for headlines to react. Okay, today was a perfect example. Things did firm up. I think our volume was a little more than it's been. Uh, we had about 550 million. Still very, very light volume. But basically when the market is being run by headlines, this is the kind of thing you're going to have happen. Our economy is doing better. We may not need another stimulus. Okay? And, uh, but, but it's all expectations. It's all anticipation. That's what the market's been running. Everyone's on vacation. We have a big Labor Day weekend. It's been a very flatlined August. So they're looking, they're drawing at straws here. They're trying to find something to bite into. And this is the only thing, the Jackson Hole Conference. So with that off the table right now, with a little better economy, we saw some profit taking. What's going to come in the next three months? Volatility. We saw the index spike up from 14, the VIX, up to 17. I anticipate it'll go to 21. Okay, we've got the, the election coming, we have the Republican conference, we have a storm here, a storm there. Oh, I think starting in September, everyone coming back from the summer, the market's going to start heating up. Direction, I'm not clear which way it's going to go, 